Triple M's Rush Hour, JB and Billy with Nick Revolt. We're joined now by a man who's going to be heard back on the radio this weekend with yes. Dead Set Legends from 10 to 12, Bill. I know. I'm so excited, but we're not talking to him about DSL. Oh, okay. Because there's something bigger than that. And we saw it yesterday, and it's been doing the rounds. It's gone berserk on socials. Your yes. joke? Triple M Rush Hour Instagram. Yeah, my joke is up there too. But it's, it's you, that. Rui. When what? you're dancing to, oh, when the Saints go marching to this. Have a listen to it, Rui. We did this yesterday. I know. Have a listen. You can't double dip. Terrible. Well, it's not my voice, Bill. That Clearly. is you, front and square. But a very, very good player at your club and the main man, Joey oh, well, Montagna, oh, right. who's a superstar himself and couldn't win a best and fairest because you won them all. But he is going to join us. He's Triple M's very own. And I want to know, Joey, welcome to the show. Good afternoon, Bill. Hello, Rue. Oh, hello, Lee. How are you and Rue? Do you get on? Yeah, we still speak occasionally. Right. He's uh, normally too busy for me since he's won MasterChef. Oh, oh, and that way feels yeah, that like way. that was a fake win or something. We too. actually <laughs> haven't really delved properly into that. I'm still waiting. to. We've been here seven days and we haven't really spoken about it. Because it's about me. Shut up, Rui. Anyway, uh, but we played that song. It's gone berserk. But then Rui's there and all the boys are there. And it was, wasn't great, to be honest. But there's no Joey Montagna. Why no. isn't the great Greek Wombat there? Well, Bill, you've seen it. You've seen the clip. And this is the true story. So we're in the meeting and they asked, they, volunteered, they said, we need some volunteers to do this, <laughs> singing this, this commercial. Yep. And Rui, Rui had always fancied himself as a bit of a boy band. He had the blonde hair and all. <laughs> so nice. he put his hand up. He put his hand up first. This is true, Bill. Don't yep. let him change the story. Yep. He put his hand up and said, oh, I'm happy to do it as long as I'm the lead. Oh. And, and he put his hand up. And he just presumed that the rest of us would jump on board and follow him in because he was our skipper and yep, you know, he was used yep. to the boys following him in. But we all saw the – we all read the tea leaves, Bill. We could all see through it. All the other leaders, myself and Dal and Schneider and Milne, all the boys, we saw what they were asking to do. Oh. And we said, we are no, no way we're going to be part of an internet meme. We are not doing this. So if you, if you look at the clip again, there yeah. is not one senior Actually. player that is in that except for Benny McAvoy. And Benny McAvoy had to leave 12 months later out of embarrassment. <laughs> he, had to go, he, had to, he had to go to the Hawks. He said, I can't bear this. The rest of the players that are in that clip lasted about another 12 months on the list. They were all gone. And, and poor Rui is stuck on there. And he's there forever. He's put himself out there forever. Where was Del Santo? You're right. There's no one there. None of us. None of us. Nah, Milne, Sam Fisher, Schneid, oh. Bakes. None of us. We, Lenny. We were oh, all smart for that. Can I none speak? None of us were in it. Right, I right, speak. It. You we have know a... exactly what happened. He, he said the rest of the... Not leaders assholes, those blokes. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Did, did you get paid? Um, no, I didn't get well, paid. There's no other I way you would have gone. Prize money bill for the team. Oh. For, the, for the good of the club. Have a listen for to the it. good of the club. The shoulders were already struggling with you know carrying oh. everyone. You told me it was in Docklands. And they got the weight got even heavier oh. having to lug this around oh. for the next ten bloody years. Man. Del Santo. He was the theatrical one. He was yeah, the one. He Joey. rates himself. Don't be silly, Joey. Del was the one that all footy show, yeah, review, yeah, it was yeah, always Del, yeah. Del, 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 you know, look at me move, yeah. look at me move. Yeah, he loved all that, but even he could see that that wasn't the right one to do. That was a horrible, horrible commercial that you got a part of. And Bill, you know, it's, Bill, you know what upsets me the most are about Rui. Like, yes. For everything he did for the footy club and how great a player he was. Yes. Unfortunately now... He gets remembered for three things as a player. He gets remembered for crying <laughs> against the Brisbane Lions yes. when, they, when the Scott boys bumped his shoulder. <laughs> he, gets, he gets remembered for the librarian sneaking up on him and smothering the ball in a grand final. And he gets remembered for this. <laughs> like, it's unfortunate that everything he did, everything he did for us as a great player, he gets remembered for those three things. <laughs> That's, you win, uh, you uh, win some, you lose some. Gotcha. He's got you here, Rube. I, I, I actually can't argue with too much of what he <laughs> said, to be honest.